Beneath one of the hottest, driest deserts on Earth, Saudi Arabia is digging a city. Not just a few buildings, not a tunnel, a city. Massive, vertical, and completely underground. This is the vault, a jaw-dropping part of neon that could flip everything we know about urban life upside down. No sprawling streets, no skyscrapers touching the sky. Instead, homes, offices, parks, shops, and entire neighborhoods stacked deep below the surface, hidden away from brutal sandstorms, searing heat, and even climate change. If it succeeds, it could rewrite the future of cities forever. But the risks? They're just as extreme as the dream itself. So, how do you carve a world-class city straight into solid rock? How do you control the climate, power entire communities, and move thousands of people all underground? Let's find out. The Vault is a completely underground vertical city being built in Trojana, a mountainous region within Saudi Arabia's NEOM project. But this isn't some cramped bunker or hidden laboratory. It's an entire folded village, a vertical, self-contained community designed to function just like a surface city, only carved deep into the mountains. Unlike traditional cities that expand outward or upward, the vault flips the idea of urban sprawl completely on its head. Instead of building over the desert surface and disrupting the landscape, Everything here happens below ground. Homes, offices, parks, shops, entertainment, and transport are stacked vertically, designed to save space, reduce environmental impact, and create a self-sufficient ecosystem. The location is just as ambitious as the concept. Trojana sits about 50 kilometers inland from the Gulf of Aqaba at elevations ranging from 1,500 to 2,600 meters above sea level. That's unusually high for Saudi Arabia, offering naturally cooler temperatures that make it a rare oasis in a mostly hot, arid region. The goal? To create an entirely new way of living, one that preserves the desert's fragile surface ecosystem while offering people a futuristic, sustainable lifestyle underground. Official figures are still emerging, but early blueprints and statements suggest the vault will be massive. It's planned as the centerpiece of the larger Trojana area, which is itself a $500 billion investment in tourism, sports, and innovation. The tunnels alone, known as the time travel tunnels, are around 3.8 kilometers long connecting the vault with a major visitor center called the Mirage. Inside, the vault will host residential spaces, offices, hotels, retail centers, entertainment venues, and lush community parks stacked vertically. Unlike The Line, Neom's famous linear city project, the vault isn't about stretching across miles. It's about compressing city life into a tight, smart, vertical format underground. Building an entire city underground is a feat few have attempted, and none at this scale. The first major challenge is excavation. Engineers are using some of the world's most advanced double-shield tunnel boring machines, TBMs, to carve out the vault and its tunnels. The excavation process is staggering. Engineers have to remove over 9 million cubic meters of solid mountain rock to create the initial spaces. That's enough rock to fill around 3,600 Olympic swimming pools. As of early 2025, about 300,000 cubic meters of excavation have already been completed. And the second phase, removing another 2.8 million cubic meters, is already 38% complete, according to contractors like Limac Construction. And it's not just about digging. The rock conditions vary wildly between hard basalt to brittle limestone, meaning the TBMs have to constantly adjust pressure, speed, and cutting tools. Cracks, 
groundwater, and collapsible soils pose a constant risk. Engineers are lining the tunnels and city cavities with ultra-strong precast concrete segments, reinforced with advanced polymers to resist cracking from heat, seismic shifts, and moisture penetration over decades. Another huge challenge? Stability. Carving massive empty spaces under a mountain risks rockfalls, collapses, and shifts. So, engineers are installing dense grids of steel anchors and monitoring the walls with hundreds of sensors, checking for tiny movements long before they become dangerous. Building vertically underground adds another twist. The structures have to bear enormous loads without traditional foundations or pillars. Every floor and wall is designed to act both as living space and structural support. Desert temperatures above ground can swing from freezing at night to over 45 degrees Celsius during the day. Deep underground, however, temperatures are more stable, but not perfect. That's why the vault will be fitted with one of the most advanced climate control systems ever attempted. It will use passive geothermal cooling and heating, tapping into the Earth's natural temperature regulation to stabilize the ambient conditions. Fresh air will be circulated constantly through a network of smart ventilation shafts, cleaned using green technology filters, to remove dust and allergens before reaching residents. Humidity is another major problem underground. Too dry, and you risk static electricity and discomfort. Too moist, and mold becomes a disaster. The vault's climate system will automatically monitor and adjust humidity levels in real time using smart sensors embedded across the city. And sunlight? Artificial sky ceilings, huge, ultra-high resolution LED panels will simulate natural daylight inside public spaces and homes. These panels adjust their light temperature and brightness throughout the day to match circadian rhythms, helping people maintain healthy sleep and emotional cycles despite being underground. All these systems will be powered 100% by renewable energy, primarily from solar farms positioned around Trojena, supplemented by wind and hydropower when needed. In a vertical city without streets, transportation has to be reimagined from scratch. The vault plans to use a mix of ultra-fast elevators and autonomous transport pods to move people both vertically and horizontally. Imagine stepping into a sleek pod that whisks you from your apartment down six levels to your workplace or sideways across an entire neighborhood with no driver, no waiting, and no traffic jams. The elevators will use magnetic levitation, maglev technology, similar to that used in high-speed trains, offering frictionless, silent, and lightning-fast movement between floors. Additionally, there will be underground bike lanes, pedestrian sidewalks, and moving walkways linking major hubs within the vault. Every effort is being made to create a car-free environment, eliminating emissions, congestion, and noise. The goal is simple, to make it easier to move through the vault than through any traditional city on the surface. The vault is designed to be one of the greenest developments ever attempted. First, its construction itself is an environmental statement. By building underground instead of sprawling across the desert, NEOM estimates that over 95% of Trojena's natural land and ecosystems will remain untouched. Second, its energy footprint will be ultra-low compared to conventional cities. Without cars, wide highways, or sprawling suburbs, everything inside the vault will be within short walking distances or a quick elevator ride, dramatically cutting energy use for transport. All the electricity will come from renewable sources. Solar panels are being laid across the surrounding desert to capture Saudi Arabia's endless sunlight. Wind farms are being positioned in the higher elevations where breezes are stronger. Battery storage systems will ensure energy is available 24-7. Water sustainability is another huge priority. Trojena's underground aquifers will be carefully tapped, but most water for the vault will be produced using desalination plants, 
powered by renewable energy, then recycled through gray water treatment facilities for reuse in agriculture, cooling, and cleaning. Even the building materials themselves are being rethought. Special low-carbon concrete blends, recycled steel, and modular construction methods will minimize environmental impact during the build phase. As ambitious as the vault sounds, not everyone is convinced it will work as planned. Urban planners and sustainability experts have raised tough questions. Can people truly thrive underground for decades? Will the psychological effects of living without real sky, wind, and open space cause mental health problems? Will the technology needed to regulate temperature, air, and water really hold up under extreme desert conditions? There are also logistical concerns. Moving materials, food, and waste efficiently through a vertical underground city will require perfect coordination. Any system failures, especially in ventilation or emergency exits, could be catastrophic. Then there's the political and economic risk. NEOM, funded heavily by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, is a multi-hundred billion dollar bet. If funding dries up, leadership changes, or public opinion turns, projects like the vault could stall halfway through construction. NEOM officials, however, insist they are aware of these challenges and are building redundancy, flexibility, and resilience into every system. As of early 2025, the vault is in advanced planning and early construction stages. Excavation of the time travel tunnels is well underway, with excavation teams making steady progress despite the difficult mountain geology. Design teams are finalizing blueprints for the vertical city structures, climate systems, and transport pods. Major construction of the actual vault structures is expected to ramp up between 2026 and 2027. The first phase of the vault, likely including basic residential units, public areas, and critical infrastructure, is targeted for soft opening around 2030, though full completion will likely take several more years beyond that. If successful, the vault could become a blueprint for a whole new category of cities around the world, especially in extreme environments, from deserts to Arctic regions. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with your thoughts, and turn on notifications so you never miss an epic story like this one.